Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a tour of my nail studio, which is just a tiny little area in a corner. And I don't have much. I try not to buy too much furniture. and I try not to overdo it with the furniture because I am very limited with space. So I just need some cabinets, uh, my drawers, some decor, not too much decor, but I like to put a little bit of pop of color on my walls. As you can see, my table is fairly small. Um, I actually downsized from my previous table. So on my table, I have some swatches, my lamp, and a dust vacuum. I also have some wall shelves with my virgins. Um, these I bought in Japan, but they're actually from Mexico. I just love the pastel colors. And I have a wall shelf here on my other wall with little kitschy finds from my favorite artists and creators. I have some nail menus and I have some crystals, just anything that's colorful and you know kind of kitschy. I like to keep a lot of the things that I have here are from my travels like this uh, condom here with gummy bears. I actually made a look for that. Here's the pick. I try my hardest to keep things very minimal. I have more nail menus down here. All of my favorite nail creations are displayed. I have my little Sony Angel here. <laughs> I try not to collect too many of these. It's very tempting, but I don't like clutter and just keeping it very simple here. <laughs> here I have my tower of Muji drawers where I keep my gels and my nail stones and jewelry and all things like that, all the fun stuff. Here's another nail menu. And this is a tape dispenser I got in Daiso, Japan, where I keep all my nail tape. It's just a really organized way of storing my nail tape. I have my disposables, which I keep in this container. It's really cool because I can label each little section and I love that it's see-through because I can see what I'm getting. I like to buy a lot of clear acrylic containers because it just it's a nice way of staying organized and I can see what's in them. Here's my UV towel warmer, which is really cool because I can put my clean tools that are drying in this so they can be sterilized with a UV light and after that I put them in a pouch as you can see down there and this cute little timer I got from Daiso it's magnetic and I keep it for my sterilizer um, you're supposed to leave your tools and sterilizer and barbicide for 10 minutes and inside one of my cabinets I have clean towels this is where I keep a lot of supplies and just random stuff that I need. I have medical grade towels here. These are really cool because they are waterproof and it just keeps the table very clean. So per California state law, I have to have everything labeled, all of the boxes labeled, everything. It's uh, mandatory to have everything labeled, even your trash. Here I have a board where I mix watercolors, if I ever play with watercolors. I have my files here, I have my duster, which is really useful for cleaning my drill. I also keep all of my tools here, all the tools that have been sterilized are kept in a box inside this cabinet. I also keep paper towels and a bottle of alcohol. I don't like to buy the big jugs of alcohol or acetone because I don't have enough space for it. And because this is part time, what I do, I feel like I don't need that much. And that's it for the first cabinet. Let's move on to my other cabinet. So in this cabinet, I like to keep a lot of my gels and my brushes. I also keep mints because it's very important not to have bad breath when you're so close to somebody when you're doing their nails. Um, I have some monomer here and I also have some 3D gel powder, acrylic powder and things I might need. I also keep my brushes here and this box I got from the Pokemon Center in Japan. It's so cute. It's my favorite. I also keep my masks 
and the Gelix extensions. I also keep the AC adapter for my drill. Another thing I want to show you guys is how I store my bottle polishes. I don't use bottle gel, but this is what I need for extensions and just miscellaneous gels. I also keep my foils in this plastic box because it saves a lot of space. I know it looks very messy, but I can't think of a better way to store foil. I don't like to keep them in the tubes. They take up too much space. I also have albums full of nail art stickers. These tiny albums, I bought them in Dicer Japan, but I'm pretty sure you can find them at a craft store here. This book is fully packed. It's just full of stickers, all kinds of stickers. So I'm putting these back. The clear plastic bin, I bought that at Daiso as well, but I think Muji sells them. And on the door here, I actually like to store more stickers that are too big and a pair of scissors. Underneath, I keep all of my cleaning supplies, my barbicide, more alcohol, and just bottles of liquids that I need. In this box, I keep all the extra supplies that I have. And same with this one, just extra stuff that I have that I don't need to use yet. Onto my Muji drawers. I have a total of six Muji drawers, uh, three stacked uh, side by side. And this little basket here is where I keep the things that I need when I'm working on a client. So this I like because I can just put it on my table whenever I need it and it has everything. And underneath that I have a little tiny plastic drawer full of just things I need when I'm working with people. So I have my little brush holder, my bits, uh, spatula, scissors. I have my little square card that I received from a client it's to accept payments I also have a palette in there which I sometimes need so I'm starting at the very top and up here I have all of my powders like the chrome powders fairy dust powders all of that all of the very fine powders I have stored in there and here I have all the shell pieces and flower uh, nail art I like to keep it organized by theme sometimes <laughs> and here I have all the gold charms I have it separated by color so this is all the silver nail art that I have I have two drawers I don't keep a lot of silver because it's not a very popular color here I have a bunch of stones and things that are very nature inspired like turquoise and opal and here I have a messy drawer full of molds and gummy bears that I've made. I need to find a, a place to store them. But here I keep my molds and all of the white studs, as you can see in the background, and just mis miscellaneous metal studs. Here I like to keep all of my gems, like Swarovski's, all the jumbo sparkly bling. I have, I think I have about two drawers full of bling. <laughs> it's pretty packed in there. Um, I like to sort it by color as best I can. And here I have my gels. These are gels that I practice with. I don't use on people. Uh, these are gels that I do use on people. This is from the brand Rika Gel. I try to sort it by brand, but sometimes I do like to mix brands. I have a lot of Ace Gel from before the recall and they're still pretty good. I take very good care of my gels. I have some Presto here, some Vitro, more Presto. This is one of my favorite brands. In this drawer, I keep a lot of the bigger pots. So like hard gel, sculpting gel, all the ones that don't fit in the Muji doors, I keep in here. Onto my second tower of Muji drawers. I have some metal pieces, some frames. I like to sort it by color, type, and shape sometimes if I can, but sometimes I'll mix. Here I keep the little pots of nail studs. 
more tiny nail studs i try to keep it very consistent and very organized but for the most part i do like to sort by color and by type like what kind of material it is whether it's metal pearl uh, that really helps me when i'm working with a client and i'm working on the fly <laughs> here i keep all of my glitters my confettis and i store them i organize them by shape so stars um hearts things like that or round shapes i like to separate them that helps me so much This one has all of my plastic nail art pieces. So everything that's plastic is grouped together. All of these are plastic charms and stones. Here are my swatches. I like to put them in this basket. I'll try to find a link for it. I believe I bought this one at Hobby Lobby. Here is my basket of essentials. These are things that I use when I'm working with people. I have a hand sanitizer here. This is my favorite. It's organic and it smells like lavender. I highly recommend that one. I also have a container full of cotton wipes. This is really cool. I got it at Nail Labo and you just press the button and it pops open. This is my acetone, and I have another spray of just 91% alcohol. I also have a handheld LED lamp, which is a must for me for stone placement. I have cuticle oil. I have two base coats in here, actually. Um, here's one of them. This one is from Nail Labo, it's the Bambina base gel, a favorite of mine. I have Dehydrator, OPI Bond Aid, and I have Young Nails Protein Bond. I also keep my top coat here. I have a pair of tweezers. These are really good for picking up tiny gems, and I like that the end has a rubber um, flat tip. This is perfect for applying decals. Here I have a tiny hamper for soil towels. It's so small. I also keep Japanese nail art magazines next to the table just to look for inspiration or if I need to look for some reference, I like to keep those near me. Acrylic magazine holder is from the container store. That's it for my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.